Okay, we're back, and I did realize that I, I skipped a step, so I'm going to reparent these guys back to world, or in your case, when you're doing this for real, I'd reparent them back to the mover bone. And the reason why is because this guy, when he's parented to there, I want him to be rotated to nothing. So I'm going to zero out his rotations. And same thing with this guy. Alright, but this one, this foot IK here, he does not get rotated out, or zeroed out. Okay, we're good. Got that. Got that. Okay, uh, we do need to make one more null. Last one, I promise. No, actually, yeah, it might be the last one. Who knows? I'm going to call this foot Picture, P-I-T-C-H-E-R, not picture as an image. And I'm going to parent this. I'm going to turn off parent in place, and I'll just put that right on the controller. And I'm going to give that an item shape. I'll make that a ring on the z-axis. I'm sorry, on the x. And we'll scale that down. That's a little too big. That's good. Okay, so what I'm going to do basically is this will be a controller that rotates only on its pitch. I'm going to uh, go down here and turn the heading and bank off on that. So when we rotate this in one direction, it's going to cause this to rotate, and when we rotate it in this direction, it'll cause this guy to rotate, the heel. So we got all the controls in one easy control. Actually, two later on, but we'll get to that later. So I'm going to select my ball rotator and go in the graph editor and make an expression. Uh, now, it, just a little side note, if this was an actual rig, we'd have two legs, and I would either put an R or an L on the end of it, but we don't need two for here. Okay, so I'm going to select this guy, and then we're going to choose Get Layout Selected. We have him to look at for spelling, and I'm going to type away... Okay, I typed this out as the old L script style way of referencing position and rotation, in this case rotation. Uh, you know, if you, if you go over here and say append to expression, it will put this bracketed thing down here. Uh, but I don't use that because, I mean, this may not be the case anymore. It's, I would not be surprised if they updated that code, but in the old days, uh, Lightwave did not tend to give you instant real-time feedback using the brackets. It would only update when you go to the next frame, but this this guy would work in real-time, which was nice, so I, I just do this out of habit. So, there we go. Uh, actually, I forgot, we're going to do a conditional expression here. So, if you're new to expressions, in general, basically, uh, you know, you type out a math expression, or, you know, it can be as simple as can be, but whatever the result is, we will pipe that into one of these channels, and that will be replaced with the value of the expression. But in this case, we're going to make it a conditional expression. I put a question mark at the end of this. Actually, I was a little premature there. I'm going to say, if the, if the value of the foot picture is more than zero, question mark. And now it's going to give us two options. If it's true, it'll do one thing, and then we separate it with a colon, and if it's false, it does something else entirely. And then these can be totally separate expressions here. So, uh, I will uh, copy this guy here. 
So after the question mark, our, our true condition, if it's true, it'll just say make it the same value of the rotation of the foot picture. And if it's false, zero. Leave it as it was. Now if I didn't rot zero on my rotations earlier, I could have just copied and pasted the value that the pitch happened to be. But uh, this case seems simple. It's nice and clean with everything being zero and leveled out. So now we, all we do have to do is select our ball rotation guy, get layout selected, and we'll put that on the pitch. Apply. So now when I select this guy, and of course when it goes the other way, nothing happens. We will have that assigned to change this one. So we'll select him, back to the graph editor. I will clone this expression, and we'll change the, the name of it. This can be anything here. This is just whatever you want to call it. It just has to be a unique name. You can't have you know, two expressions of the same name. So heel rotation. I'm going to get rid of this redundant clone message here. And this time I'm going to say, instead of asking if it's more than zero, I'll say if it's less than zero. And everything else can be as is. And then I will apply that to the pitch. Fun, huh? So you can just have him as the foot hits the ground. You just you rotate that, and he, he goes on to continue on to his next step. Now, there's only one problem here, and uh, you've probably s seen what it is already, but let's get to that. Let's, I'm going to jump to frame 10. We'll say on frame 10, he is going to have his foot flat on the ground. I'm keeping frame 0 as my pose frame so that you know, if I need to change the rig, all I'll have to do is select all the bones and hit R again to re-rest it. I don't have to worry about the bones being out of place from the original pose of the original geometry. So we'll put this guy on the ground here. Oh, he's a little too low here, so we'll, we'll say the ground is right here. Okay, so here's the problem. One is he's taking his, getting ready for his ne next step. You can see the, the toes are dipping below the ground plane, and that's not good. So we have to do one more mechanism to remedy that, and then we're all done. And here's what we do. We're going to go to the motion options of the toe, and we're going to choose the rotation to be the foot control null. And then pitcher, excuse me, pitch controller, use same as item. Oh, I think we have to uh, turn that world thing back on. Yep. That's very important. For it to act the way you expect it to act. So now, whoops, wrong one. Yeah, I don't, uh, I forgot to mention this. I'm going to turn the pitch off on this controller now. Hang on a second. I had to... There we go. I had to world mode on, so now it's, it's parent coordinate system. Uh, yeah, only rotate on the pitch. The only time you would want to rotate this guy on the pitch is if your character is not walking around and you want to like have him lay down in a bed or something like that. Then you would want the, uh, the foot to go all the way back. And in that case, uh, doing what we're about to do may not be so good. Actually, yeah, it would it would work out fine. Anyway, so now you can see that when he takes a step, the toe stays locked in place there. I don't know why it's dipping down at that point, but that's good. Now, of course, it's always on, and it, and that's not good when it's doing that. So we need a way to dynamically switch that on and off. And uh, oh, I'm getting close to the 10-minute mark, so we'll stop this here and finish up on the next video.